Um, now, on to the next topic, we're going to be talking a little bit more about uh, video games at the moment. Um, the Xbox Series S has been leaked uh, earlier this week. And Xbox said, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> just throw the price out there. Throw the release date out there. We're just going to give all our information. So the Xbox uh, Series X and the Xbox Series S, two completely dumb names that I just have a hard time saying. But um, they, really, they announced both of their systems. The Xbox Series S, which we just got informed about, that is the uh, smaller version of the Xbox X and the digital only version of it. Now, and um, which, uh, matter of fact, let me get into some of the specs. The difference between the Xbox X and the S, the GPU is one of the biggest differences. The X has 12.15 uh, teraflops, whereas the S has four teraflops. The RAM on the X is 16 gigabytes, whereas the RAM on the S is 10 gigabytes. The storage on the X is one terabyte, whereas the storage on the S is uh 512 gigabytes so are they still doing gigabytes are you serious now for the digital ver for the smaller version um yes now it is an expandable uh they can have a one terabyte expand ex uh expansion hard drive so you can add as much space as you like to it um oh. also it doesn't the s doesn't have the 4k player so it's strictly blu-ray however the prices also came out which is the X is going to be four ninety nine ninety nine US dollars, and the S is going to be two ninety nine ninety nine US dollars. I'm actually, for one, surprised that the X is as cheap as it's going to be. I thought it was going to be like hitting, you know, six hundred. Because we did joke about the PS Five and the Xbox X being eight hundred dollars, but the more we look at the, um, the inside of the machine, the more likely yeah. it was going to be. So I'm actually shocked that the price is this low. This was almost around the price of... No, no. The Xbox One was cheaper than this. I mean, not uh, more expensive than this. The Xbox One came out at $600. So I'm surprised this is cheaper. And the Xbox uh, S is $299 US dollars, which I personally think this is a very smart move on Xbox part. Because they're tapping into a market that I didn't think I don't think Sony was going to look at at all. They're tapping into the ca more casual gamer. So the gamer that just plays 2K, the Call of Duty, and just whatever yearly game comes out, they're not going to really look at like. So oh, I just need the urban youth, the urban youth gamers, gotcha. Right, right. They're just like, look, I just does this system play this game? Yeah, it only costs three hundred dollars. All right, that's an easy pickup. Rather than buying a system that's, you know, $600 right off the bat. So I think that's mm -hmm. a smart move on Xbox part. Also, they started a, um, they're doing a payment plan for it. So you could do, uh, I believe it's $35 a month for the Xbox Series X and uh, $25 a month for the S. And both of them also come with Xbox Game Pass, which has all the, which is a giant library of games. So that's also smart in their end. So just have a bulk of games right off the bat that players get to play. I think that's a really smart move. That's a really wow. smart move, especially not having exclusives come off right off the bat. Mm -hmm. But having a giant catalog is like, okay, right off the bat, you get to play this, you get to play that, you get to play that. You get to play a, I think, let me, it doesn't say how many games are in uh, Xbox Game Pass. But I know it's it, it's a lot. It's definitely a lot. So that I think that's genius on their part. Um, uh, how do you feel about it? Well, I thought it was a, it was the move that I, it wasn't surprising me because right now P PlayStation and Nintendo is kicking their ass. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna be real with it. Like uh, Xbox Series X, Series S, it didn't it didn't ap appeal to me. At all, so the one that's three hundred dollars is, is, is that still the the tower one? But that's that's the five hundred gigabyte one. Uh, no, the uh, that's the five hundred gigabyte. It's a lot smaller. It's a white system. It look kind of looks like a speaker. No, yeah, no, thank you. So See, it kind of like, looks I, like the Xbox S, uh, Xbox One S. I'm not sure if you. Okay, yeah, yeah, like. well, yeah. It's, or the yeah, quote yeah, unquote yeah. sad edition. That's what they. Oh uh, yeah, okay, so yeah, because 
First of all, I, I just said in one of my reactions when I was looking at the All Access Pass that Xbox has, to, in, in my opinion, and I know people are going to disagree, but they have the worst exclusives to me. And there's nothing that comes in with Xbox that that, that draws me in uh, when it comes to a gaming system. I've always said that Xbox is a home entertainment system first, a gaming system second. Mm-hmm. It's always been that way. Uh, now, the, the thing is, so that's why I was never really into Xbox. And when you have all these things coming out for PS5, and you see how it comes out and how PS5 laid down the line for it, especially with Miles Morales and how you know the system looks, and then we got digital, and we got disc, and we got them cool-looking pads, and then all that kind of stuff like that. You got people already pre-ordering and saying, hey, we're going to get this day one, right? Mm-hmm. I didn't hear that for Xbox. Now, I'm not saying it's not out there. But I didn't hear that for Xbox. I definitely I did not hear that for Xbox at all. And then you have Nintendo drop saying, Oh, remember all the first party Mario games you like? We're gonna put them drones back on the Switch. Oh, and by the way, we probably got some uh pro pro switch things coming out next year. They they don't even have 4K yet and they still in the ball game. Right. That just shows you how much Xbox is just like it's 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 non existent sometimes so yeah they had to make this move because P- P- ps5 didn't release anything yet nintendo ain't release anything yet so they feel like they gotta be ahead of the game but i guarantee you once those other two companies release something it's going to be forgotten about right right now i think at this point i feel like xbox is going to try they already know their audience at this point in time so i feel like they feel like their competition is someone different I feel like they maybe their competition is going to be like Stadia, or their competition is going to be whatever Apple's doing. I know their Apple's doing some type of game <coughs> thing, where it's more of a service. I think they're going in that path rather than strictly competing with the systems at this point. Uh huh. That's the that's really the only place I could see this going. That they're, they're going to be strictly focusing on services that's what i think that's why they're pushing the game xbox uh pass so much at this point because they're trying yeah. to strictly work on services rather than a system now the system is i always call it xbox an entertainment hub it's not really a game system it's an entertainment hub okay but, um but yeah now sony did say they're um doing a conference next wednesday so you know Chances are they're going to announce the price. They're going to announce the date, all that jazz. Oh, speaking of that, the date of the release is going to be uh, November tenth uh, this year. So, oh, see, and, and they smart too because depending on which way this go, people are going to be pissed at the election day, so they got to try to <laughs> play something. No matter no matter which side you want, somebody's going to be pissed come election day. So. You know, they they like, well, we, we got to do something. So, yeah, no, that, and look, I ain't going to lie to say it ain't, ain't, ain't smart on them, but I'm just saying. Right. Now, I saw a meme where it was, uh, it was two people playing The Price is Right, and the first person was Xbox. It's like, we're going to be uh, $4.99, uh, and we're releasing on November 10th. And Sony's standing right next to them. We're going to be four ninety eight, and we're going to be releasing the 9th. Yeah, <laughs> and I, yeah, that's exactly what they're going to. Do. Sony just like, all right, they play their cards. Go, go, <laughs> go. Release it for the same price and uh-huh. put it out a day earlier. <laughs> Which honestly is most likely going to happen. Um, with this Sony conference, I'm hope we no, we, you know, I'm hoping we need to see a price. We need to see a date because we're two months away, less than that, two months away from what we're getting. So we need to know exactly when this is going Look, to come out. PlayStation, Sony was just waiting for Xbox to say his stuff. And they bit in their hand. He was like, okay, come on, come on. Ah, there you go. Next week, we'll say uh, something. And, and, and that's, how, that's how they're going to do it. Right. Now, the and fi- the, if you look at the pattern, at the PlayStation say something, the tentacle will be like, okay, now both them guys got out the way. Now it's our turn. That's how, this, that's how business works. Yeah. Now, the only thing I think Sony needs to do that Xbox did is they should do a payment plan for uh, the system, just like how, um, just like how Xbox is doing. Now I did hear rumors around that GameStop is going to start. Uh, they're going to do payment plans for people to pay off their PlayStation, and I feel like Sony should do that as well. Just have the money directly come to them, you know, pay like I, I would say like thirty five dollars a month, 
So you like least to own, pretty much. I think that yeah. would be the smartest thing for Sony to do because everyone has int- everyone that I met so far. There's a much more interest in the PS5 than it is for the next Xbox. Exactly. If they want to make any money, especially with this pandemic going on, they would. They, they, they should probably look into that. Right. Yeah. So I hope. I really hope they got a plan. Um, I hope we get more information on the exclusives. I, I need a Spider-Man trailer. I need a story because. No, you I, don't. I'm gonna tell you why. Because you are gonna get that day one. Oh no! Yeah, I'm gonna get a day one. I just so, want to so, see so, what look is at going. Visuals, yeah, but you'll you'll, you'll need that. I, I want to know what's going on in this story, like, are like, cause I it was teased the the prowler was teased in this trailer, so I was like, okay, is he going to be? Who are we fighting? Is he going to be in this game? Like, let's let's get a taste of the story at least. Where's Peter? All that jazz. That's that's what I le- at least want out of Sony. So mm. we'll find out next Wednesday. Uh, make sure you subscribe to uh, Nerd Coalition Studios. So any uh, information like fat reacts and stuff like that. Uh, you get to see but that. But also, stay tuned for Level Up because, bruh, we, I know there's going to be games. And we also got two games to play next week in, in, in two fighting games. Could you read my... Oh, okay, yes, we do. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I, uh, uh, we got that. Dragon Ball Fighters and Pirates Battle for the Grid. Lauren Sheba is coming out, mm-hmm. and Master Roshi is coming out. I'm more excited for Lauren. But, uh, <laughs> so, so yeah so expect those two things uh, coming at you guys 